Yes, we are starting to buy property after about a five or six year hiatus. We sold everything out in 205, 06 for all our clients at the top of the market and we are now back buying prime selective types of property. Okay, but hold on. I thought that we were in the middle of like, you know, here we are in the center of London, but I thought that even here, which is, you know, prime New Bond Street and that kind of thing, there'd been a big bust in the commercial property market. There has been a huge price adjustment and a huge rental adjustment, correct, of about 30 to 40 percent for the best buildings in London. Those are freehold, prime, long let, excellent tenants, new or fully renovated properties. However, that is a very, very unique opportunity for us to lock in to higher yields in properties that normally you couldn't buy. But of course, what you're really talking about is two commercial property markets, because you're dealing Correct. here in the West End, where you know we've got Asprey's and that kind of thing, and it's just along the road, watches of Switzerland. This is top end of the market, isn't it? So it's a, really a separate market. There are three markets, really. There is the prime West End market, which are very sought after buildings, very hard to access, large barriers to entry. And then there's the rest of the London market, secondary buildings, leasehold, not renovated. And then you have the rest of the UK. And that market is still hugely tumbling. Rents are falling, capital values are falling. So it's a very small niche market that we are focusing on. Well, some great displays here, and this is wonderful. There's a bike all covered in scallop shells and mussel shells. How important, though, Pierre, is London in the kind of global scale of commercial property investment? Well, there's no doubt about it that uh, central West End London is probably the single most important, most liquid, and largest investment market in the world. More so than New York? More so than New York, more global, uh, more important on many capacities, price per square foot, um, rental values, uh, yields, and of course, movement of capital globally. But how, how does it fit in in terms of recovery from the bust that we've seen? I think London uh, was probably one of the first markets to fall in 2007, 2008, and the recovery has already started for prime buildings in locations like this. So again, it, it comes back to, you're a buyer for now, but can you see that window closing fairly soon? I mean, given, you know, interest rates, okay, pretty low at the moment, financing is okay if you're in your position, but is that all, how long is that gonna be the case for in your view? Well, banks are dysfunctional currently. They are lending, but they're only lending to people who they know, people who they trust, and only about 50, 60%. So you can't have the same buyers come in who are over leveraged. When will interest rates go up? My prediction is by the time the election comes in next, spring, summer, here in the UK, here in the UK, and the window will close. 